This slide has upset a bunch of Ryzen owners lately. It is an image showing various chipsets and support for various Ryzen processors for the AM4 platform. AMD posted this picture on their blog a little while ago and as it turns out, only users with a B550 or a X570 motherboard will be able to upgrade to 40 Ryzen based on Zen 3, which according to recent leak is set to launch in September. And so for example, if you already purchased a X570 board, there is no reason to be upset here. But if you're one of those who currently sitting on something like the X470 or the B550, which has been a very good budget chipset to recommend since B550 simply hasn't been a available. Well, tough luck, these motherboards won't work on 4th gen Ryzen. So what does this all mean? Well, essentially AMD is locking Sam 3 and 4th gen Ryzen to X570 and B550 motherboards. Despite all the talk about the longevity of the AM4 platform, and despite the fact that they've been saying from the beginning that AM4 would be supported till 2020, what they now are saying is basically, look, AM4 socket will live on through 2020, so we are keeping our promise to you guys but in case you're not sitting on a 500 series motherboard <sighs> Uh, we're sorry, but you're gonna have to pony up and buy a new one in case you wanna be able to slot in a 4th gen Ryzen. So how is this possible? I mean, if the socket is the same, well, physically, yes, a 4th gen Ryzen processor will fit in any AIM4 motherboard, but the problem is that is not enough. Why? Well, you also need a BIOS update that supports the processor, and it turns out in a blog post that Indy explains, and I'm quoting, while we wish we could enable full support for every processor and every chipset, the flash memory chips that store BIOS settings and support have capacity limitations. And given these limitations and the unprecedented longevity of the AIM4 socket, there will inevitably be a time and place where a transition to free up space is necessary. And AMD 500 series chipsets are the time. So what they are essentially saying is that due to limited space, all the boards won't have access to the new BIOS update that is required in order to get these new processors to work on all the motherboards. My question why wait this long to tell us this? Why not a single word on this with the launch of the X570? And why delaying the 550 ships at motherboards if the 500 series would carry this much importance? And why drop images such as this one on us? That clearly implies something else. The many Ryzen owner seems quite upset over the way AMD has handled this situation. But do they really have a reason to be angry? Well, after all, AMD has actually done a lot of good with Ryzen. And before guys we start flipping tables, maybe we should perhaps give AMD the benefit of the doubt. I don't know guys, in my opinion, we shouldn't. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, in this video we're gonna look at the possible outcome of this and why I think we maybe should not accept this. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to Arbin Hardwire. My name is Robin. I'm your Swedish host and friend with bad posture and poor accent. So let's go back a bit and start from the beginning. So with the large horizon and the sand architecture, AMD promised in 2016 that the company would support the for processor socket until 2020. And with this year's launch of the Sam 3 architecture and the associated processors in the Ryzen 4000 series, the company does technically indeed keep their promise, but not really in the way that we initially were told. Now, Up until now, AMD has kept its backward compatibility alive between chipsets and new processors, and those who bought a motherboard with the AIM4 socket have so far been able to upgrade to a later processor via you know, an updated microcode. However, with Sam 3 and Ryzen 4000, that won't really be the case any longer as AMD now confirms in a blog post that the new architecture will be locked to the 500 series chipsets or later. And what this means is that if you're already sitting on an X570 board or a B550, which ironically isn't even out yet when I'm recording this, you guys are gonna be safe. And AMD has confirmed that they will bring out a microcode update for both these chipsets and a basic BIOS update that will make sense. 3 and 4th gen Ryzen to work. But to all of the other folks who bought a B450 or perhaps an X470 with the promise of the AIM4 platform lasting till late 2020, well, you're essentially out of luck. Again, explained in the blog post due to BIOS memory limitations. And this is, according to AMD, making it impossible to add support for more processors. To me though, this sounds like a crappy answer that could easily be solved, while a good portion of motherboards 
only come with 16 megabytes of storage, for what I've heard and from what I've been told, making two sets of BIOS would be the answer to this, where they would offer users with 3 or 400 series board multiple BIOS options, where you would have a BIOS for let's say 1st or 2nd or 3rd gen, and then another version that perhaps drops support for the 1st and 2nd in favor for the 3rd and 4th gen support, and if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense and it sounds pretty simple and it shouldn't be that hard to implement. According to Steven on Hardware Unboxed, great YouTube channel by the way, the real reason behind the limited support is not because they want to punch their customers in the face, but instead lack of resources internally, and if you think about it for a second it makes a bit of sense. The buyers are made up in something called Ajisa, and from what I've read and from what I've been told, requires specific expertise to master, so it could just be the fact that AMD simply doesn't have the manpower needed to make it happen, and AMD's reason of blaming limited space maybe seemed like a valid reason at the time, but the thing is they made statements such as maintain and support in the past, and that one of the key things of the AIM4 platform is socket stability, the word maintain strongly implied that they would maintain motherboard support, but looking at the facts now, that statement is not true any longer, and this is very misleading. Point is AMD messed up, they should have told us this when X570 came out, but they didn't, instead they continued to promote older 400 series board, and that 3rd gen Ryzen would offer the same level of performance as the X570, where if you had no use for PCIe 4.0, it would make more sense to look at those lower tier boards, but in hindsight, wouldn't it have been a good idea to tell people that while older motherboards would work on 3rd gen Ryzen, any of these motherboards wouldn't work on future processors, and I'm sure that a lot of us would have paid up a few more dollars for a X70 board if we knew this. The harsh reality is that people who bought a B450 or an X470 and a 3rd gen Ryzen simply bought a dead platform with no options for upgrades down the road. Anyway guys, I would love to hear your take on this. I made this video not because I like to talk bad about a company, honestly, I have rooted for AMD since the launch of Ryzen, and I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that feel the same way as I do right now. It is important to have in mind that AMD has done a lot of good for us, and they made PC gaming fun and exciting again, and I am forever grateful for what they have done up until this point, but I feel like we got betrayed, and I feel like they should take responsibility for it. Stop giving us excuses, make it happen, that's it. Anyway guys, sound off in the comments, I would love to hear your take on this whole thing. I also want to add that I don't think that this is going to be the end of this story, and if we show our disappointment, AMD has to rethink their decision. So in my opinion, this is up to us now. Anyway guys, thank you so much for sticking around this long, watch the other of these two videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one.